the rubber side of my mother's bedrock started disintegrating and I decided to use the pressure washer and remove all the rubber. But I found that the fabric is glued to the rubber and now there is a hole. That's why I decided to make one rug for myself and one for my mother on the passup. And today I will show you how to do it. You can find the pattern in 19th issue of Passup magazine. First make sure the racking handle is in its highest position. Raise 140 needles on the front bed, 70 to the left and 70 to the right of zero. Now arrange them in one to one division. Place the edge springs on the last two working needles. Now raise 140 needles on the back bed of the machine. Arrange them in one to one division and place the edge springs on the last two working ones. Now it should look like this. I will attach my cast on rug to the needles on the front bed. If you want to know how to knit one, you can click on the info card. If you have a cast on comp, you can use it instead of the cast on rug. After you hang the rug, attach several weights to it. I will attach four evenly spaced weights. Set both locks to N and the stitch size to 5. Thread the machine with a ravel cord. Now insert the orange strippers and knit one row. Remove the eyelet and set both locks to GX. Now we have our cast on comp attached. Slide the lock to the right. Set both locks to N and the stitch size to 2. Now take the main yarn. I will use two strands of acrylic yarn. Knit one row. Set both locks to CX and increase the stitch size to 3. Now knit two rows. Set both locks to N and increase the stitch size to 4. Knit one row to finish the cast on. Set the front lock to CX and the stitch size to 3. You may need to set the stitch size to 1 or 2 depending on your yarn. Set the back lock to EX and the stitch size to 4. Use the double eye bodkin tool and transfer all stitches to the needles on the back bed. Don't forget to support me by liking the video. Make sure all empty needles on the front bed are in working position and place the edge springs on the last working ones. Rotate the racking handle to its lowest position. Remove the orange strippers and insert the black ones. Now knit two rows. Detach the front lock and knit two rows.
if the stitches are still on the needles, attach more weights to the cast on rug. Attach both logs together and knit two rows. Then knit two rows only with the front lock. Repeat these steps and knit a total of 1000 rows. If there are dropped stitches on the back bed, you have to increase the stitch size to 4.5. After you knit 1000 rows, set both logs to N and the stitch size to 5. Remove the black strippers and insert the orange ones. Now knit two rows and increase the stitch size to six and a half on both sides of the lock. Knit one row and lower the front bed. Use the yellow tool and make a zigzag latch cast off. Raise the front bed, take off the weights and remove the knitting from the machine. Now it should look like this. First you have to remove the cast on rug. And now we have to make the edge. It is looking great, what do you think? You can knit a bigger one and cut a hole so it could be placed in front of the toilet. To knit the strip for the edge first make sure the racking handle is in its highest position. Now raise 12 needles on the front bed, arrange them in one to one division and place the edge springs on the last working ones. Raise 12 needles on the back bed, arrange them in one to one division and place the edge springs. Set both locks to CX and the stitch size to 1. Insert the black strippers and take the main yarn. I will use the same yarn as for the bat rug. Knit two rows and increase the stitch size to four on both sides of the lock. Raise the rest of the needles on the front bed and move the edge spring. Then raise the rest of the needles on the back bed. Now knit two rows. Clear the row counter and increase the stitch size to 5 on both sides of the lock. Now knit 2400 rows. You must have a strip big enough to sew around all sides of the rug. Now it will look like this. Take the yarn from the lock and cut it. Thread it into the double eye bodkin too and sew off the stitches. It should look like this. Now I will iron it using a lot of steam. That way the yarn will become soft and it will be easier to sew it later.
Now I will pin the rug to my ironing pad and I will very gently iron only the edges so they are staying flat. You have to be very gentle if you are using acrylic yarn because you can kill it and the rug will look awful. Now I will use my sewing machine and I will sew the tubular strip to the back side of the rug. I'm using the edge of the presser foot as a guide. By the way, I will make one confession. I bought that sewing machine with the money I saved after I quit smoking. I had a big problem and I'm very proud of myself. It was an awful habit. Tell me what are the bad habits you want to get rid of. At this point sew both ends of the tubular strip together and cut off the extra. Now finish the rest of the seam. Fold the strip over the right side of the butt rug. The final step is to sew the strip close to the end. You can use pins or sew slowly to get a nice looking catch. By the way, I'm using white thread and the seam is not visible. I will cut the end that is sticking out, then I will use the thread clipper to tuck it inside. And we are ready. Now you can see the final result. That's all for today, thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you in my next video.